Hey guys, this is David and I'm at Nature Reliance School for their advanced survival training. We get to bring up to 25 pounds of gear, but I'm a little bit worried it's going to be close, even after I replaced my sleeping bag with a minimalist sleeping system. Here we are. This is the, the moment of truth. I really don't want to unpack my bag. We'll see. <laughs> throw it up there. Uh, okay, yeah, throw it up there. Let's see what we got. Dun, dun, dun. Da, da, da. 22 pounds. You got three pounds to spare. Thought you'd be interested in what I brought along, so I put together this rough cut video for you. Stay tuned until the end for links to all the gear that's in my pack and links to my full video review of Nature Reliance School. So I was over here talking to the guys and I realized that you guys are probably going to want to see what was in my bag. So I loaded this bag similar to how I would pack a small bug out bag. And I did a couple of things to cut some weight on this pack that uh, helped me get you know, a couple pounds under the 25 pound limit. First, my pack is, I believe this is uh, the Explorer Survivor pack. It's like a, just a mini sub 72 hour type pack. And I'll put links in the video description for you guys so you can check out all this stuff. So this is one of our water pouches. Condor water pouch works for a lot of other things besides that too. I like these single, triple, double, or triple A battery flashlights. And so I've, I've got this Rayovac one. I've also got another uh, spare. We've got just a little hygiene kit. And because I wear contact lenses, it's always a disadvantage in the training or a scenario situation for me. This time I decided, since I had so much weight available, that I was gonna go ahead and pack my contact solution. Of course, my glasses, glasses case, contact case with some floss in there. And I think that's it in this pouch. I didn't pack that much in there. In this side pouch, I've got, oh, so this, this pouch is basically my technology pouch for my iPhones. I often take two iPhones out in the field for shooting video, which saves me a lot of weight. And in this pouch, this is just a, a battery backup power supply. So this will power my iPhones for a couple of days. And I don't have to worry about power. iPhone 4 cable. I've got my Goal Zero. Whoa, almost lost the pack. Let me just put the pack down here. I've got my Goal Zero um, for my solar charger, which my charger's in the car. I'm not gonna bring it because there's not gonna be any sun. It's gonna rain all weekend anyway. But some more power. If I need more power, I got power. And I think that's it for this side. Now on this side, I've got my water, basically my water kit. You can check out my water kit video on YouTube. And I'm already full here. Like I said, we weighed in at my wet weight. And I've got my canteen cup down here. I'm not gonna pull that out, my nested cup. Stick that back in here. On the front pouch, I've got a backup flashlight. I really like, actually like the Bear Grylls um, AAA battery flashlight for a lot of reasons. It lasts longer than any of my other flashlights. It's really lightweight. Battery comes out and replaces easy. And it also has this uh, little pouch on the head strap where I can put an extra battery. So got some redundant lighting. Since I had space and weight, I just decided to do it. Got my Sawyer filter. I've done a couple of videos where we've talked about that. And I've also got a backup, just a basic straw, life straw filter. And what else did I throw in here? I got some random things. So I don't know why, but I threw um, a couple square yards of, a couple square meters of tin foil in there, aluminum foil. Let's just zip that all back up. Put the rest of the stuff back in here later. No surprises in the back. I, I actually, since water's pl plenty available here, I, I took my uh, my hydration pack off of there. Let's just look in the front pouches. I think mostly there's survival stuff in here. It's just a, a base, base survival kit that I put together. Got some fire cord, uh, a lot of fire starting things and just needles and random stuff. Another triple A little mag, night, mag light right there. Um, backup sharpener, diamond, got my compass, got a little 
stainless steel shovel there. <clears throat> My backup survival blanket. Oh, and there's, there's my other flashlight, Petzl. And I was actually looking for that earlier. I might replace the other flashlights and just take that one. And some duct tape all rolled up. <clears throat> now I gotta pack all this stuff back in here. Fortunately, I got an hour or so before more people show up. Got some, uh, just some wipey biodegradable wash towels. They come in handy. Knife, fork, and spoon since I had the weight. Threw that in last minute. Enough food to last me for a couple of days if I really got right down to it. Some kind bars, peanut butter, sugar, salt, a bunch of just random kind of stuff in there for food. I've got my work sharp knife sharpener right there. I've done a review on that. You guys can check that out. My survival metrics mini micro fishing sewing and snare kit. I've got my hunting slingshot with about I don't know, three quarters of a pound of 44 caliber shot. Amazing what you can pack into 22 pounds if you want to. It's kind of a little bit of a luxury weight. Now one way that I cut serious weight and volume out of this little pack is I came up with something interesting for a sleep solution that's really kind of a three season solution. I'll talk about that in a minute because the other parts of this sleeping solution are in my pack in the other pouch. But I've got two 44 gallon three mil trash bags because those can come in real handy, especially if the rain continues. And I'm gonna be using my uh, Noah's tarp nine foot by nine foot for a shelter. That should be fun. And that's, that's it in this pouch here. Now I'll get to the big pouch just a regular cotton towel I just like to have one around they can come in handy extra pair of wool socks now for a sleeping solution I got to thinking if I've got my two-person bivy my survive outdoors longer bivy and I get my thermolite see the summit reactor uh, mummy liner which adds 25 degrees to my bag and i put those two together and in a pinch if it gets really cold i can use my snug pack jungle blanket there's there's my sleeping bag and it's half the weight and half the volume of my snug pack elite three and i did test this last night it was fairly cold it was in the higher mid to high 30s and i was actually starting to get kind of warm so that's my sleeping kit essentially in this pack i've just got some uh trot line and i've got of course paracord got an extra poncho in here you can use that for shelter or um, i might just use it for a ground cloth and just because I, I could, could add a few luxury items, I've got my Chinook self-inflating pillow here. It essentially weighs nothing. It's just a volume consideration. And since I had the volume, because I dropped my sleeping bag out of here, which, by the way, my sleeping bag, even compressed, took up about 80% of the room in this, in this pouch here. And last night I decided that sleeping on wet leaves and doing a debris bed was not going to be what I wanted to do this weekend. So I added my X-PED uh, down mat nine and it's filled with down. It's got a really interesting pump system built into it and it's got an R value of eight. So we slept on cold concrete last night and I would have never known that my back was warm. So that's it. That's my pack. Click the link on your screen to check out my video review of Nature Reliance School or for links to all the gear mentioned in this video, check the video description on YouTube. Just click the show more tab under this video. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And for more gear reviews, survival tips and survival news, check out ultimatesurvivaltips.com. And while you're there, grab our monthly survival e-mag 
Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter to get the latest news and be the first to hear about the great gear giveaway contests we have planned. Okay, this is David. I hope to see you on the other side and remember, be prepared because you never know.